back in the fashionable resort of Marbella, ex-premiership footballer Ramon Vega and business partner Kevin Hilton are gearing up for the opening of their kids' soccer camp. We just want to give this back to the kids, give them the dream, what it was like to be a professional footballer. Ramon and Kevin have invested £100,000 in the project, renting sports facilities, buying kit and hiring staff to run the courses. If the business is to break even over the next six weeks, they need to pull in 40 kids a day. There's a lot at stake for both Ramon and I. But despite a big marketing drive, the numbers booked for the first week are still well short of the 210 needed just to break even. Yeah, obviously everyone wants to make a profit in the first year, but realistically um, that may not be possible. With only a day till the start of soccer camp, Kevin and Ramon have yet to meet their coaches and finalise the accommodation. But before they can, Kevin's on the trail of ten missing boxes of kit that were due to have been delivered to the ground. Why has it taken so long for these parcels to arrive? It's definitely all ten, so that's the seven DHLs and three UPSs, or is it the other way around? So they're definitely on their way. OK, all right, thank you. Bye. Disaster averted. The 10 boxes which were supposed to be here on Friday are definitely going to be here tomorrow. So, late, but at least they're here. With the missing boxes recovered, Kevin meets Ramon to show him the accommodation for his five coaches. It's a major part of the setup cost, and Ramon's keen to see he's getting value for money. More than fine, it's nice, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Kitchen, it's fine. Okay. It's good, it gives us that. Okay, I mean, I think it's more than fine, to be honest with you. Even so that's it? Perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you. Nothing Thank wrong. you very much. Well, I'll give you that. Thanks. See ya. Something tells me it's slightly more than Ramon was expecting. It's That's why you can't just put them in the old crummy... Like, no, at all, no, at all, at all. I, I, I want that these guys are... They're not just spending also a good time here, but... Yeah, also, they've got to be looked after. They reflect also the kids as well. Right, if you look after them, they'll look after the kids. That's so, the most important thing. Simple as that. It's, it's a nice it's place. It's good, it's a nice place. I, I went to look at a lot of different venues um, for, the cat, for the coaches. It's really important that they... You're not putting them in the lap of luxury, but they have nice accommodation. We want to look after them. But at the same time, you know, it's five guys for 45 days. It's an expensive exercise. Yeah. So this way, we put them in an apartment. It has all the creature comforts they need, and, and we're giving them, a, um, like, an allowance each week for shopping. They have lunch at the camp anyway, so how bad can it be? So yeah. I can think of worse ways to work. That's good. Yeah, that's good. The signs... Uh, With the soccer the camp there. kicking off in 36 hours, the last pieces of the jigsaw still need to be put into place. A final meeting with the caterers... Coffees, coffees, coffees milkshakes, croissants. fresh fruit, uh, fruit salads, smoothies. More last-minute bookings to be confirmed. Basically we run a soccer camp for kids from 6 to 16, girls and boys. Gazebos to be put up at the football ground. And that all important meet and greet with the coaches the day before kickoff. The thing is, it's of age. Some kids are going to be good at football, some kids are going to want to come just because they want to have a kick around, but ultimately just to have a, a lot of fun, etc. Uh, the caterers are going to be out there providing lunch for the kids every day. They have unlimited water all day. We stop every 15 minutes and they have, can have a drink. I mean, this weekend I reckon it's going to be 34, 35 degrees up there. So. Massive heat wave. And oblige always the kids to drink water, I think, because, that, you know, the kids always forget to drink water, yeah. you know. Ramon won't tolerate anyone who gets too tempted by the Marbella lifestyle. I would like unallowed anybody coming to the camp with fume of alcohol, actually, to be honest with you, drunken. It will be sacked on the, on, the, on the spot. You can go home straight away to England. Uh, I think that's my major worries about that. But part of that, to be honest to you, I think uh, you guys should enjoy yourself, uh, give the best, and entertain the kids. That's the most important thing, to be honest to you.